In my brief time as a watch enthusiast, many watches have come and gone, but one that has remained is this, my Christopher Ward Trident Pro 600 with its gorgeous cranberry colored ceramic bezel. Hello YouTube, this is Dave here with another watch love video. And I'm following up my initial review of the Christopher Ward Dive Watch with some additional thoughts about the watch and the brand after having owned this watch for well over a year now. In recent days, I've pared my collection down to just three automatic pieces and a few quartz beaters. Those three automatics are my Omega Speedmaster, my Omega Seamaster, and this Christopher Ward Trident Pro. So of all the pieces that have come and gone, why has this one stayed? Well, to start with, I love the overall design and the aesthetics of this particular watch. As I've developed my love for watches, I've come to learn a lot about what I like and what I don't like in a watch. Like many new watch collectors, I found myself buying timepieces simply because it was popular in the watch community. But over time, I began to realize that what is popular is not always what clicked with me. So while I've learned to enjoy and respect those popular pieces, I've ultimately been left with the question, what's right for me? So in answering that question, I've concluded that I'm not a huge fan of the dressier timepieces. I've tried to be. I've owned and loved my Bomb and Mercier Capelin Chrono, and I would still love to own a Longines Master Collection Moonface. But in the end, I really love the overall feel of a sports watch on my wrist. Yet I've also realized that if a sports watch is, well, how do I say, too sporty, I lose interest in that too. I've had a number of Seiko dive watches come through my collection, and while I love them all, I've also realized that they're a little bit over-designed and have a little bit of a cluttery look to the dial that just doesn't quite work for me. It's like Seiko forgot that all-important rule to take off one piece of jewelry before leaving the house. But I realize that that busy style is popular in sporty dive watches. But for me, I realize that the watches that I love have some of the elegance of a dress watch while having the heft of a sports watch without either being too understated as some dress watches can be or too overstated as many sports watches can be. Christopher Ward hits that sweet spot perfectly with a Trident Pro. If on the spectrum of dressy to sporty, I lean towards the sporty, the fact is that every day in my work life, I'm bound to a shirt and tie. So the dress driver really works for me. This Trident Pro is rugged enough to take on just about anything, but the style is not just rugged, it's also elegant. And it's not out of place with a tie and a sport coat. The chapter markers are clean and understated. The bezel's high gloss and perfect color grab your visual attention. And the wave dial gives it just a touch of busyness so that the watch isn't too dressy. And then there's the hands. I love the hands. I think they're just about the best style of dive watch hands I've ever come across. Big enough to be seen easily, but elegant as well. I also think they hit just the right sweet spot with the 43 millimeter diameter. Even though my Omega Seamaster is technically just a millimeter smaller, this watch feels substantially larger. And I'll admit to being one of those who likes the larger watches. But while I like large, I don't like too big. I think the Trident Pro hits the maximum end of wearability for my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And it's the reason this watch has stayed with me. But if large is not for you, then check out the 38 millimeter version of this classic design. Besides just the amazing design of the watch itself, another thing that keeps me in the Christopher Ward family is the fact that no matter what all the haters in the watch elites say, when you hold this watch in your hand, you are holding something that exudes quality. It feels absolutely solid in the hand. This watch will compete any day of the week with watches five or 10 times the price. I realize it has a basic ETA movement, but it's an ETA movement that will go down in history as one of the most reliable and robust that there is. With the solid case back, I'll be honest, I'm a little less interested in the engine underneath since I can't really pop the hood to take a look since this does not have a see-through case back. A reliable ETA movement is good enough for me. 
But if you want in-house and you want chronometer certified, the Christopher Ward has that too, if you're willing to pay the additional cost. But for me, for a watch like this that can be found well under $1,000, you can find yourself owning something that has more in common with a $7,000 watch than with a $200 entry level diver. Something else keeps me in the Christopher Ward family. In my mind, Christopher Ward is like the Amazon.com of the watch industry. While the classic brands have stayed rooted in brick and mortar and traditional advertising, Christopher Ward has stepped solidly into an empty space in the watch market. They've harnessed the power of the internet and the direct-to-consumer culture that we've all adapted to in so many other areas of our lives. How will it play out? Will it ultimately even work? Will this philosophy broaden out to other brands? I don't know, but I applaud Christopher Ward for taking the risk and offering a bit of modern day ingenuity in an industry that values slow and incremental changes. But not all is perfect with Christopher Ward. As we all know, they've changed their logo quite a few times, which feels like they're continually in search for their identity. And that's sad for me, simply because I love this rendition of the logo and think that by changing their logo once again, they've let go of a classic and timeless look for something that I just don't think works as well. I honestly don't see me ever buying a Christopher Ward with the current logo. I think they nailed it with this design, and it's very likely this will be my one and only Christopher Ward. I also can't tell you that I'll keep this watch forever. There have been a number of times I've thought about what else I could get if I would just let this one go. The cranberry bezel is very color specific, so it does limit what I can wear with it. And the logo keeps changing. So I can see a day where we might part ways. But I've had the chance to do that many times. But I find myself putting the watch back on the wrist and falling in love with it again over and over. Ultimately, it's a high quality design with amazing value for the money. And that's what keeps this Trident Pro on my wrist. It stands out proudly with its Omega neighbors next to it on either side in the watch box. And it has nothing to apologize for. Well, except for the changing logo. And that's a look at the Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro 600. Thank you for tuning in.